So today we are going to talk about uh, PowerPoint um, using using Python and uh, Python PPTX this module to create slides and uh, I've already made some um, some scripts about uh, about this kind of work with Python but now I made it more uh, simple more um, more nice I think and so let's see um, how to make it hi so today we're gonna see how to use Python to create slides easily and in a fast way uh, with Python I've done uh, something like this before but uh, today I want to show you um, a more clean code uh, with less lines of code that um, should be easier for you to look at and uh, eventually um, maintain it and add some other features in it. So I want to show you how it works and inside this multi-line string there is the content of the of the PowerPoint file and on each file you have the title separated by the an hashtag and then the content of the file and just this and nothing else and so here I have one two three four five six seven slides in just seven lines of code as you can see they are just one uh, lines and uh, let's see how it looks like okay here it is let me run it and you see the first slides and I've explained it in the in the slides itself what you have to do. You can use Python. You need to install Python PPT, PPTX with pip install P, Python PPTX. Then you create a new file importing uh, from PPTX import presentation. Then you create an instance of the class presentation that is I called in the example PRS, and then you first of all choose a layout because PowerPoint has different layout the layout 0 is the uh, the splash page at the beginning but I decided to use the layout 1 and to use it you just go and say layout equal PRS dot layout uh, 1 in square parentheses and after you created the layout you can create a slide and so you add a slide uh, using prs.slides.add uh, underscore slide and in parentheses layout. So you create a blank new empty um, slide. And then you add the title with slide.shapes.title.text equal the text that you want to be the title. And then the subtitle is slice.placeholder one in square parentheses dot text and some content and so you've seen how it works and inside I put a meta explanation of the uh, process itself now let's um, let's recreate the, the file as usual from the start uh, naming it 005 PPTX004. Uh, so you uh, will from uh, PPTX import presentation, and I remember you that you have to go in the in the command line and do pip install Python. and okay and then you have to simply you get to to create a new document you get to do prs dot equal then uh, to save it and you and you're done 
okay now if you look into the folder you see the example here file I forgot to put pptx here we can also use the OS module to make it open from uh, directly from Python we start file and example.pptx there it is but it's empty of course now we need to to add um, first of all get yeah, choose a, a, a layout so let's create this layout it will, it will be slide dot layout uh, one slides layout one prs.slides.layout with okay it's not always easy to remember the names that they choose here it's slide dot layout or layouts okay I finally get it and then I I can create a slide that is equal to prs dot um, slide dot add add slide with a certain layout that is the one that I choose before and maybe it's slides yes you get the slides and this is layout one if we want you can choose layout zero there it is different layout and now you can create the text to be or well slide dot now um, for the title for the title you have to use shapes dot title dot text equal title one instead for the subtitle you use placeholder or placeholders it's placeholders one dot text equal content there is the title here and content down here I've chosen the layout zero but if I change in one I get this other type of layout I can choose always two just to there is this other slide etc so basically basically this is how to this is the basic thing you can now do how many of this you want what you need to repeat is this so you could theoretically put into a definition of that slide with title and content and then um, if you don't want to do always slide at slide at slide etc go and create um, slides value here and I don't want to make a list I wanna make it create so I can go let me copy what I did here 
don't want it to write it again. So I'm going to put in here my slides and uh, the content of the slides and then here I'm gonna do create slides instead of this file name and content then I'm gonna pass this okay the file name will be example And the content will be slides. Uh, but the slides, okay, will become the content here. So uh, here I want to content equal content dot split split lines, so that each one of each one of this line will go into a into a list of strings but for so it's each item of the list will be a slide let me call it s for s in content um, I will have the title and the content equal s dot split okay each line I will I wanna is separated by this hashtag so now uh, the first one will be the title the second one will be will be the content and I'm gonna to add it to this so that it will make a loop and uh, make a slide for each one of these it and count. Okay, let's see if it worked. File name is not defined. Okay, and uh, I can make this return file name. gotta change my my type of layout I want the number one okay I got a slight layout get this one out of the This is, this is just giving me the last one mm, because I get to add a slide each time here. Okay, I forgot to make the indentation here. Okay, and uh, okay, so this is the 
how you can make it. I can also put this one here and get rid of this so that is I don't have nothing down here except the this thing and I think think this is pretty everything and uh, I think it's quite understandable here what is going on and so I think you can use this script here to make your in a quick way your presentation then eventually you can add stuff like images into your um, into your PowerPoint if you want but you can easily manage here the slides you can also change the order etc you could also create some empty spaces here if you want to want to be more clear and who have a clear vision of your um, slides to avoid the fact that when there is an empty space you can check here if there is this sign else it will pass and go don't do anything so that you can have this more clear way to to see the slides what is inside living a space among them or you could have done something something different but we're gonna leave it like like it, like it is it's quite fine for me quite uh, easy to to use and uh, you could also use some the kinter to make uh, a mask where you can create your um, your slides more visually Maybe we can do this uh, in another post, starting from from this sketch here. Thank you, and see you next time.